Oh, the sun is shining and it's pretty outside. Watermelon Kool-Aid wine. Oh, it's gonna be so fine. I gotta get me some ice. I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me, cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. Well, how y'all doing? It's Pawpaw again. And <coughs> I've been out there mowing down that pasture I've got. And I decided I wanted to come in and get me a refreshing drink. And I was checking my YouTube comments and stuff and somebody had asked about my watermelon wine or my most peculiar wine so I went to the cabinet and sure enough it looked like it's done making so some people say well how do you do it well watch my uh, videos uh, two for a dollar Two for a dollar wine. I think that's the name of it. Anyway, I'm gonna put a pack of Kool-Aid in an empty two-quart jug. I rinsed it out real good, washed it out. And this is my alcohol wash, most peculiar wine, oh, water wine, whatever. All this was is water, sugar, and yeast. That's it. And then you use whatever flavor Kool-Aid you want. And I'm not going to rack it. I'm just going to pour it gently in here. Because the sediment, most of it all stays at the bottom anyway. Now your pack of Kool-Aid is supposed to make two quarts and of course what I'm making is only a quart and a half that just means it's going to have a little more watermelon flavor now I didn't waste time filtering this. You see what I got left down here at the bottom is uh, maybe a half inch. We'll pour it out in the, in the yard and make up the offering for the wine god, Bacchus. And, ooh, it's gonna be pretty. Gonna be like, gonna be hunch punch. <laughs> Oh. Have you ever had a drink of watermelon? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Now I could just as easily have put a shot of lemon juice over that ice and then use this without the watermelon flavoring 
it made hard lemonade. So let's see what we got here. Oh, that's pretty. Y'all see how pretty that is? So, uh, one and a half quarts is close to one and a half liters. And a bottle of wine is 750 milliliters or three quarters of a liter. So, that means that I mixed up here about two bottles of wine. And it comes out to less than a dollar to make this jug full. I wish I could describe to you how good this is. <laughs> yeah. If it don't make you shiver, it ain't no good. <laughs> anyway, folks, just wanted to share that with you. Again, let me give you the recipe real quick for those of you that's never seen my wine videos. And by the way, I do have a playlist on my homepage titled wine making and it's got I don't know how many uh, wine making videos I've done but in a nutshell real quick my recipe my basic recipe is for every quart it's a cup of sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of bread yeast uh, active dry yeast whatever what they sell by the flour anyway one quart one cup one quarter teaspoon oh yeah baby ah so mix you up a quart and a half of water in a two liter jug I mean a two quart bottle mix you up a quart and a half of water a cup and a half of sugar, three eighths of a teaspoon of active dry yeast. Shake it up real good. Put the cap on it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Loosen the cap. And when you squeeze on a bottle and it does that, the cap does that. Set in the cabinet somewhere dark and warm. And go back and check it out in about a month or so. Pawpaw's watermelon wine. <laughs> 50 cents a bottle. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful day. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh. oh, that washes that. It washes them glass, grass clippings down real good. <laughs> mm. Mm. I really do like this. I'm going to rinse that jug out real good and make, mix me up some more and get it working. And we will, uh, we'll be back in a few days my white grape peach is done we'll try it out all right oh